I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com, and I thought I would show off our little work basement we've been working on, kind of a little hideaway for the kids to study. We're not super limited on space, but we kind of made a little space down here. I'm not done with it yet, but I thought we would show it off a little bit. So we have a crawl space under here. In a little sub-basement, it's about four feet tall. So we've been working on the last year. We've got a little ladder here. If you scroll over here, one of the things we've done recently as I put in a switch here. I actually have some lights down here that I'll show you, but you come down here. Hey, honey, your light is way too bright. I think oh. it's, it's, there you go. Much better. All right. So we put a switch down here so we can actually come down here and do switches. And I'll show in a minute that we got a string of lights down there. But, uh, okay, so that's the entrance. Let's go down. Okay, so we've been working on this for a while, about past, I don't know, since we moved here. So down here, we've got about four foot tall crawl space, and it was just all dirt. Uh, it was covered in plastic, and we had a bunch of stuff stored down here, and so we kind of took everything out, rearranged everything, and we did have a little TV down here because I had no place to store it, so I decided to plug it in last year. And they put like the old Nintendo down here and put a couple little chairs and sitting back. But it was still kind of all dirt. And so the past, I don't know, two or three months, we got serious. We started kind of fixing this space. I thought it might be, I don't know, I thought we could do some interesting things here. It's been changing as we've been doing it. So what we've done is, uh, to help with the hard ground, we actually put down, uh, I think I have a video of this still. We put down all this uh, cardboard. I bought a bunch of cardboard, laid it all down, just for a little bit of uh, padding, and then I got all this, uh, what's this called? Just mat? It's like, mat. it's like kid yeah, foam. Stuff you'd say like a little kid's mat. Kindergarten spot. Stuff. So we found that at Costco at a cheap price, I think it was like 10 bucks, for about eight of them. And so we pretty much covered two thirds of the basement in it here. And, uh, and it's actually worked out pretty good. And so we've done that. And need some more light. No, I've got it. And so since then, it kind of worked out pretty nice. So kind of what we've done is we went to I after we got that done, we realized there's more area, so we went to IKEA, and we bought some shelves for homeschooling, and also kind of for a maker space too. We want to kind of do do some more making of things and building of things, electronics and some sewing. And so we've uh, we bought three of these from IKEA. And two of them are, a little, are glossy, and I think they cost about 65 bucks a piece. And the one that's not glossy was like 35 bucks. So I got three of those, and those are serving us pretty well. And then we also got some, we have a little entertainment area down here now. So we got a TV down there, and we got a little stand from Ikea. That was like 100 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. A little pricey, but it was nice. Oh, for the TV? Yeah. Yeah. And then we got a couple of uh, little $15 stands for all the movies. And so that is kind of what we've done so far. Oh, and we got these little chairs from Ikea because it's so short down here. And we put these, um, what do you call those? The gliders. Little, <laughs> the stuff you put on furniture to glide it around on your, uh, carpet. your carpet. So I stuck those on there because these, the way they're designed, are going to cut into this. And I kind of want to move around. And our idea right now is we're gonna, I'm building right now a big table. Uh, for crafting, it's going to go right here where I am right now. So it's going to be like five feet by four feet big with a hopefully thing, a thing in the center so we can cut it with scissors. A, um, a big crafting table slash study table. And so these things are about the right height for that. So I'm working on this table because it's just about the right height. Uh, let's see what else do we do down here. I rerouted all the piping. So there was all this AC duct down here that was actually taking up a lot of space that no one cared about because it was underground. Uh, but we do care about if we're building something down here. And so I got all this uh, flexible piping that's actually insulated. I don't know the exact name of it. And we redid it all. And so kind of where the TV is right now, that was actually just one big pipe cutting across. And so we rerouted everything, fixed everything, and saved a ton of space. And so far, it's working out good, and I think once next school year starts, the kids will have a different place to come down here and study. I'm coming down here in the mornings to do my reading now. It's kind of peaceful. Um, let's see, what else are we doing? Uh, I'm, we're planning on building a table. We're 
we're going to replace the uh, wall here that has insulation. I'm going to kind of put up a faux wall so that we can put, it um, doesn't really matter, I'm going to put up some studs and just so we can nail things to it and probably put up a whiteboard and some things for magnets and different things so we have that unlocked against the wall. Uh, and even though it's not for school, I'm going to be putting up my networking stuff down here for networking around the house. What do you mean by network? Um, internet. Internet networking stuff. So that we can Server. Server stuff. My geeky stuff. For layman people. For my geekiness. Uh, so, still a work in progress. Oh, I got mildly, only got a minor injury from doing the whole thing. <laughs> I, I, I cracked my head against a pipe once. I had to go to the emergency room and get uh, stitches. So I have stitches on my head. Um, but overall, pretty good. It's just a nice place for the kids to come and hang out and get away um, and call their own space. And during the school year, they can come down here and work where it's quiet um, and peaceful. We'll get some more lighting down here. So now, now I get to interview you. <laughs> Since you're talking anyway. So what do you think about this space for your children? I think it's great. I think it's great. I think once you get the big table down here, they'll really enjoy being down here. Yeah. I think it'll be nice. I've done a little bit of rewiring down here. I still didn't do a little bit more. It's cool. It's comfy. They, they have claimed it for themselves, and I'm okay with that. We need to get some sort of intercom system. Yeah, they can't quite hear us when they're at the end or upstairs, because the only entrance down here is, is through the closet, which seems, you never know. It's, it seems kind of silly, but it's also kind of cool. I was still trying to find a suitcase so I could be like, um, like the Harry Potter movie, but I haven't, I don't think that's going to work. Um, so, the Fantastical Beast, that's yeah. what it is. We need to get some sort of intercom system so that when we call down here, especially when if the TV's on and if they have earphones on or something, maybe even a baby monitor, so that not only if they can hear us, they can hear the baby monitor, but they can see because you know how baby monitors are. They have those little dials like, oh, no, no. You know, oh, yeah, you don't want They read the noise. So if they have earphones on, while they're listening, listening to something on the TV and there's a baby monitor sitting in front of the TV and they see the, mm. the, the signal that the, somebody is speaking, um, that might be a good option. So yeah. table, some sort table. of intercom system. Put up and, a wall. Yeah. They don't need it, but it'd be it's nice like to bonus. put up a full wall and then we could put a whiteboard on there. It's just nice to say, hey... Uh, we're putting all of our crafts and crayons and markers and scissors and everything down here. So if they have any sort of art project, they can come down here and work on it and keep all that stuff down here. Um, and the kids can separate themselves a little bit more sometimes, which is always a good thing when they're on top of each other for the whole year. So, yeah, it turned out. Yeah, I wasn't quite expecting to go quite this route when I started doing it, but it's working out pretty good. Yeah, it just started out as plugging the TV in and putting our leftover pillows and blankets down here. And the kids would come down here and watch DVDs and Blu-rays. And then he would come and down. And video discs from the and, 80s. Uh, we don't need to mention that. And then I think while you were down here with the kids, ideas started to come. And, yeah, this is what it's evolved into. Still working on it. So get the table in here. It'll look really nice. Yeah, so we expanded our, our space because we only had, what, this place is, what, 1,200 square feet? Mm -hmm. Which is, mm, I wouldn't say tight, it's okay, but now we've got another couple hundred square feet the kids can come down here and study even though it's only four feet high but that's okay, okay. for us yeah that's okay for them yeah 
they don't necessarily sit at a table and work anyway. They like to sit on the ground and work. That's true. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is our space here. I think I might take some time and go show the table I'm working on right now. Not done, but we might go t do a quick video of that too. But And we'll probably take more videos as we actually get this more done. But uh, I think it's pretty much close to being done as far as the basics that we wanted to cover. Everything else is just a bonus other than the table. Yeah. We wanted the really big table for the kids and us to work on. So... Okay, now the video downstairs might not look too good because the lighting's kind of, it's okay for walking around, but also it's not conducive to reading and the kids would be reading down there. So a couple of things, when we actually get the table down there, we'll probably put another light just above the table. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, but also in the meantime, and, and for other, other places, we bought this from Amazon and I'll put a link up to it. It's kind of really cool. There's a little, um, it's got a battery in here, it's USB to recharge it. And we got this little guy. It kind of flips out and it, you know, holds its own pretty good. And I've used it a couple of times downstairs. It's got three settings. You know, it's got like a reading and a white light and then both of them together. And I guess it lasts about three hours. I've been downstairs reading for an hour at a time and it's fine. But they're going to be using this because it's not really good lighting downstairs and there's no natural light down there at all. But I thought I'd mention that because I'm sure the video looks kind of crummy. Uh, and here's the table I'm working on. You can see it's really short. I'm not quite done. But also, because the basement, the door to the basement is so small, I can only make it so big. That's about as wide as I can make, and back enough to take this apart to even get it down there. So I'm actually going to make two tables, and put them together. And I'm not too sure about this. I'm still trying to figure it out. But since we do want to do more sewing, kind of those, if we go to Joanne, is they get those special tables where they can cut them. I got like a little groove, so I went and bought a little C-channel. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it exactly now, but I'm going to make a twin to this, put it on the other side, and then somehow, you know, put that in the middle so that if you're sewing, you can put it over there and cut, and then Somehow attach the tables together. I haven't figured that part out yet, but when I do, I guess I'll show everybody. But in the meantime, that's kind of where it's at. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter under the handle at myIQless, or check out our blog at www.iQless.com.